We're having a picnic on the ground. So we're out hiking on this trail. Alex is like, I bet it's none of these, one. None of these has logs, they're just fake. I believe. Fake wood. Alex, one of the ones up to the it's right. So I bet it's that many. one. That's so many, my goodness. I bet it's that it's one. It's that tiny little shack. It's to the right, dummy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Votons left us. <laughs> That's why we're here. No, really? that's <laughs> So we're at Harriman State Park in Idaho because it's not far from the state park we're staying at. And we want to check it out because they supposedly have good mountain biking trails. And Brian and Jared were going to come biking, but then Brian's had some experiences where he drove all this way to go to state park or, or a, a mountain biking area. Yeah. Brought his bike and went through all the hassle and then it wasn't very good for him to go on anyway because of the width of it or something. So Alex drove down with Brian and I to check out the state park and Carmel. And this way we thought we'd hike some of the paths and get to see them a little bit. Yeah, a little glisten. Yeah, it's narrow, but it's grass on either side. So I can just mash down the grass a little bit. Yeah, make it wider for other people. Yeah. So we are out hiking on this trail. Just you checking it out. You didn't really get far. I didn't get far. Because my, my front wheel hit this rock right here. And it just it just tipped. I don't know. Yep. So I'm just going to sit on the ground now for Mom's, a little while. Mom's right there. so Yeah. We're having a picnic. On the ground. <laughs> Alright, so Dad... Couldn't get all the way because he was gonna fall again. Um, <laughs> so we were checking if he could get through in the hand cycle because with like the single track with the grass, he can just his wheels can be in the grass some, but there's tons of rocks, so he can't do that. Yeah, he can't come this way. It's very pretty and it's it's really a nice trail. And Jared can go mountain biking out here, but Brian cannot get the wheelchair. He could he could get it part way through here with his wheelchair for going on the trail, but. Then there'd be rocks, so. But there are other paths around here that I think um, are wider, so we can get on those trails. What's that thing about? It's just part of their birding trail. Alright, 
So Carmel is getting to do her first bark ranger program they have here at the State Park, right? Right? So she's going to go up. She did all the stuff that she's supposed to do. And now she's going to go up and see what she gets for becoming a bark ranger, right? Kind of like the junior ranger program for dogs. Ooh, I know. She has it. I have it. There we go. You did a good job. So you show Brubba? Brubba? Show, yeah. Look, Brubba. She got a sticker and everything. I have it. <laughs> I get Alex and Pepper because you don't want them. Exactly ideal travel conditions today as we head from Yellowstone up to Glacier up in northwestern Montana. There's a lot of fires around, very hazy, very well. Now we're in a section for the past half hour, you can actually smell the smoke. Alex is looking it up, there are fires pretty close around, kind of reminds us of when we went up to Mount Lassen three years ago, and there were a lot of fires going on. But also, it's extremely windy, so when you combine those two factors and it's like no wonder these fires spread so fast like it's very very windy so I keep looking every time we go over a mountain to see if I can see a fire somewhere which I don't want to see have those road warning signs and you know they'll warn you if there's an accident up ahead or something like that um, here in Montana uh, we got the road warning sign and it said be careful cattle on road mile marker 87 to 93 